Well, okay. The let's... main thing is to scan down that way, I think. Okay, well tell me about it. All right, this this is where they started quarrying and did it for years. And finally it started filling up with water and for other reasons they stopped quarrying here. Uh, they can tell you about that in the history of it. And uh, this step here, of course, is another step that's underwater. But we're going to go down and look at this wall of rock and determine what kind it is. It's a metamorphic rock. Part of it, though, seems to be igneous in origin. I mean, it's kind of a combination of, of an igneous rock that's been metamorphosed in part, but mostly metamorphosed. So if you come on down here, well, here we are at the rock face. Yeah. Now, if you look at this, you can't, you can't get any closer, can you? What does that say? You don't know. Let's go up and look at the rock face because there's not too many exposures of, of uh, igneous rock in our county. This is one of them. However, technically speaking, this is igneous rock that's been right much metamorphosed, so it's kind of in between. Uh, one thing, you find very large crystals here embedded in smaller crystals, and this is a kind of an unusual structure. And it's really not foliated quite enough to be called a nisoid rock, but it's certainly close kin to nisoids. And uh, actually the term porphyritic, when you have larger crystals within smaller crystals, the smaller crystals being the groundless. If we can look over here real close, I don't know if we can focus in on this. Come over here a minute. And if we can... If we can just focus right down here on the ground, you see these large crystals of feldspar and the darker mica, which is actually the darker mica, and then you have quartz. So it's really got the same content as typical igneous rocks, but it's probably been somewhat metamorphosed, and it goes from one phase to the other. There's some other interesting things about this rock. If we walk down here a little bit, On nearly every rock surface during long periods of wet weather, we find yellow. And rather than being a lichen or a fungus, this is actually right here an alga. And it, it, it's pretty interesting. If you take a microscope and look at it, you'll see little tetrads formations on it. But here you can see where they drill down here before they dynamite it out here. And then here you can also study the structure of the rock, which is very large grain comparatively. So you'd have to kind of call it a granite nice, a mixture. One grades right into the other. Some places it might be almost pure granite, and then it gets over into an area where you could have to call it granite nice. And this happens in many large rock formations. Here's a very good large specimen of a porphyritic uh, a, a crystal, a kind of a crude mass of feldspar. And you can tell that by the cleavage and the shininess on one face surface, surface. So in our county, this is one of our best exposed igneous dash metamorphic sites. It makes good road crush and it lasts pretty long. 